Hi everyone, I know it's been a while since I uploaded anything, but I decided to um, do a little vlog, a day in the life of the med student vlog today. It's one of my exam days and I thought it might be cool to see kind of what we do in a day. It is Monday, it's around like 6 a.m. I think, and I have a test in two hours. It's gonna be a nephrology or renal system exam. So right before tests, I usually focus on high yield review books like first aid mainly, and also Pathoma, which I have here. And, um, with, you know, just like, if I need to look up anything, I'll just look up some stuff on like, uh, online or using different resources like that. So, so yeah, I'm just gonna eat some breakfast, couple apples, and then I'm going to start studying, because uh, I need to prep for this test. So I'm gonna get to studying now. Hey guys, so I'm a little late, so I have to run off to class, but um, I have a test in a couple minutes and I need to drive down there real quick. But hopefully it'll go well and I'll catch you guys after that. Hey guys, so I just finished my exam, which was um, pretty long, but uh, I'm glad that it's over. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, so that was good. So right after the exam, we had a mandatory financial aid meeting and we had free food there, so you know, I kind of helped myself to some of that. But I'm outside my apartment right now and I'm gonna have a lunch that I prepped for uh, today. Because, you know, it's bulking season, right? So uh, it gives me an excuse to eat some more. I'm going to head inside right now and then um, just eat, relax. I usually don't do too much studying after exam days, but um, I may try to, like, fit in a little bit since it's getting closer to the end of the year, closer to finals, and it seems like everyone else is studying for their STEP exam, the first part of the um, USMLE licensing exam for physicians. So, uh, yeah, I might try to review a little bit of material maybe prep for our doctoring or medical skills day tomorrow and for finals which is coming up in a few weeks like I said uh, yeah I'm just gonna chill and eat some more and uh, then maybe do some art or something to kind of decompress a little bit more but I'll check in with you guys later hey guys so um, I finished my meeting again around like 1 30 ish and it's uh, and then I just came home and ate lunch again and uh yeah just relax watch some youtube videos and things like that um it's around like 2:15 now and i'm gonna do some art a little bit uh which by the way uh quick plug if um if you might be interested in art or want to check out my art i do uh paintings drawings calligraphy and a bunch of other stuff so um my instagram is art by a d n a n so um i'll link it down below uh if you guys want to check it out you Please do check it out and let me know um, what you guys think, if you have any suggestions or uh, requests or um, tips or advice on how to improve or anything like that, uh, that'd be great. I'll also link down below, um, I guess I'm going to make kind of like a, a public Instagram um, and I'll link that down below as well. Right now I'm going to uh, do some art and uh, I like to watch YouTube videos while I'm doing it. Kind of, It's kind of like some background noise. Today I'm working on a... Um, a little, uh, so I I drew Goku a little while ago from Dragon Ball Z. I am I I was working on inking it, and now I'm going to uh, work on uh, kind of sketching out some of the areas that I'm going to shade so I can color it later on this week. Um, also, oh yeah, just real quick. So I just put up a portrait drawing of Jay Z. So uh, on my Instagram, actually, uh, I'll put a picture of it here, and uh, yeah, you guys can check that out on my Instagram as well or any of the other stuff. But yeah, here's my. Goku drawing and I'm going to uh, be working on it while I'm studying. Hey guys, so I just drew for a little bit and um, I worked on my uh, the piece I just showed you, the Goku piece, and then also a little bit of a, a new colored pencil piece. Uh, stay tuned, I'll probably post that up sometime. So now I'm gonna go check out maybe like one or two videos, not, nothing like major, probably some like old videos from last year from Boards and Beyond, which is a popular review service, kind of like first aid but in video form if uh, you haven't used it, but in our school pretty much everyone uses it. So yeah, if you want just a general overview and intro to a topic, like an organ system, or you want specific videos about a topic that you're unsure about, it's a definitely a great resource. So I'm gonna, I can't really show you guys the video since it's copyright and all that, but I mean, this is the main website and I'll probably just look up like maybe like one or two videos and I didn't get to, usually I, I, I usually tend to go to the gym before or after class. That's like my main form of exercise. It helps me like sleep at night and stuff like that. So I usually do that, but 
Uh, today's one of my leg days, or supposed to be one of my leg days, and I pulled my hamstring playing football a couple weeks ago, and I think it still has at least a few more days to heal, so I'll probably be going for a walk and uh, maybe get some, some scenic footage for you guys. I'm just gonna study for a little bit and uh, head out then. Okay guys, I'm about to head out right now. Maybe get some nice clips for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hey guys, so uh, I just got back from my little walk slash filming thing. It's about like 5.30 right now. I, I was out a little longer than I thought I would be, but hopefully I got some good footage. I kind of missed some of the nice scenic shots in during the sunset, but hopefully I got some good clips for you guys. So right now what I'm gonna do is just wash up, change out of these like sweaty clothes and probably put together like a little spinach slash kale protein smoothie thing that I usually have every night. Eat a bag of carrots and maybe like an apple or something, a couple a couple of my staples that I usually have kind of as my dinner and then uh, while I'm doing that I'll probably look up uh, we have this little checklist at our school for some of our doctoring or medical skills where we go and see our patients and do physical exams on them so that those kind of medical slash doctoring skills is one of the areas that I need I think I need a little bit more practice in so I'm probably gonna especially as since the finals are coming up in a couple weeks I'm probably gonna need to start practicing those a little bit more and make sure I do well on those for the exams and kind of just even for general like practice because that's all like patient interaction and physical exam skills and taking histories and physicals, all the stuff that you need, you know, when you're actually practicing as a doctor. So yeah, I'm gonna study that while I'm eating dinner and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit, maybe in like an hour or two. Also, I hope you guys like the little uh, montage slash cinematic stuff. It's, one of, it's still one of my first few videos, so my video skills are kind of rusty right now. But yeah, leave any suggestions or comments or tips down below. And it's a learning process like anything else, and hopefully I'll get better as these videos kind of go on. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Okay, so the uh, smoothie looks a little, uh, kind of looks like pond water or something, kind of looks kind of nasty, but it tastes way better than it looks, trust me. If you guys want the recipe or want me to know, want to know what I put in it, just uh, let me know down below and I mean, I'll be happy to share. Hi guys, so it's a little after eight now, and so I said I was gonna study for, I mean, from like dinner till like now, but um, honestly I didn't really study that much. I studied maybe for like half an hour and it was more just like reviewing checklists for like my doctoring and medical skills because um, like I said earlier, I wanted to kind of work on those because uh, a lot of those exams and errors that we do in those uh, classes, I, need, I feel like I could improve on and so yeah, I just went over some of those lists just to prepare. Not really for, I have one of those classes actually this week, tomorrow actually, but it's more to prepare for next, uh, or for the, uh, in a couple weeks, we're gonna have a final. So it's more to prepare, so it's more to prepare for, so it's more to prepare for the final in um, a couple weeks. But uh, yeah, cause it's hard for, especially for medical skills to just like learn all that and be good with all that right away. And I have some uh, trips planned for the end of finals week, so I don't have to come in to remediate the test if I do badly on it. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try to prep for finals a little bit more than usual. So basically what happened in the past hour, two hours or whatever was that, so I basically just watched a bunch of YouTube videos uh, while I had my dinner and then afterwards too. That tends to be one of my main forms of like decompressing. I don't know about you guys. If you're watching this video, maybe it is too for you. So um, I was just watching videos for a while and I did like maybe like half an hour of uh, looking at checklists for like patient exams 
kind of get a feel for what things I need to ask and what exams I need to do. And I'm seeing patients of different cases. The past two blocks for us were endocrine and renal right now and the gastrointestinal system. So a lot of the exams that we're doing are just uh, abdominal exams, head and neck exams, and not really a lot of like the musculoskeletal exams and neurological exams, which are a little bit more involved and require more tests. But for now, more of like two or three main areas that we're focusing on for these couple blocks. So for right now, I'm probably gonna edit this vlog. And then head off to uh, probably take a shower. And then after that, I'll probably maybe do some art or actually I'll probably clean up the house a little bit and do normal human stuff. Maybe get rid of some of this uh, scruffiness because I tend to kind of postpone some of the stuff that I do on like the weekends, for example. Right before a test, I'm I'll usually be cramming the day before, or even uh, two days before, depending on the how hard the test is. Yeah, it's kind of like a relatively chill day. I mean, usually after tests, it's kind of hard to study a lot anyways, and I think it's kind of smart to take it easy and maybe just study for a short amount of time, especially if the test is like a bigger one. Today's was just a okay, TLDR or TLDW, I guess, for you guys if you... Uh, didn't watch the beginning of the video. I had a, a four hour test in the morning. Usually our tests are all on Monday mornings. And then it was a renal exam, just a midterm though, which uh, would seem like less work, but since renal is so kind of, it's all like interconnected, it ended up being most of the renal organ system block, especially in like first aid anyways. So I pretty much just studied for like the whole organ system for renal, which hopefully should make the final easier, but it was kind of pain in the butt to cram right before the test. But I mean, it was all good. The test was uh, thankfully easier than I thought it'd be, which is a good reason for me to remember not to like stress out so much right before tests as I usually do. And it's a good reminder to you know anyone else if you guys stress out before tests. Often, I feel like if you're at least doing some work and uh, studying at least decently hard, you should be uh, and preparing at least a little bit. You should be at least decently well off, especially based on like your average performance on like previous tests and things like that. But anyways, yeah, so in the morning I had a uh, renal exam for a couple hours. It's usually Monday mornings for our, for us. Sometimes we have class afterwards, but if they're not mandatory, I don't really go to them because uh, it's not very efficient for me to go to them if I'm just like tired out. So uh, yeah, I'll usually kind of use um, the rest of the days after exams as kind of like a chill day if it's a midterm. I'll usually just kind of uh, do things like do art or go to the gym, watch a lot of YouTube videos and sometimes hang out, you know, just kind of like relax and maybe get in like a little bit of studying if I need to. On finals week though, I do tend to, I'll study in the evenings because usually I have an exam the next day or the day after that. But especially for midterms, it's easier to just take kind of like a, the rest of the day off or not fully off, but mostly off and just kind of do light studying. So yeah, that's um, kind of like the rest of my day. Uh, like I said, I'm just going to go take a shower, just do some cleaning up and stuff around the, uh, around the apartment, maybe do some art again, watch some YouTube videos of course and yeah just kind of relax let me know if you guys have any uh, questions comments any suggestions for future videos any tips to improve like these videos thank you guys so much for watching i hope this video helped you guys out get a sense of an exam day for med students and um i hope you guys enjoyed it see you guys in the next video